if you look at kerala is the land of parashuraman no and then of the great shankaracharya who walked the entire nation you know who did his parivarajaka across all the way up to kedar and uh, that's the unfortunate part that it fell into the grip of communists and the two violent fellows uh, they believe that the opponent should be direct killed hands and legs torn he should be you know neck chopped yeah. It's happening today Kamal. also with the violence. How many RSS? No, I mean there? it's a lot less now. But yeah. if you take the 60s and the 70s, the average uh, RSS tare karta was simply killed, right? If you look at the, you know, the they were killing fields, uh, fields literally places like Kannur and all of that. So unfortunate that the land of Parashurama and Shankara got, you know, got into the hands of these violent communists, right? So it it looks really funny and amusing when they speak of human rights. and then if you look at tamil nadu tamil nadu is a land of the cholas cheras pandyas you know the pallavas the greatest of them all you know they built a they built the tanjavur tanjavur bhradishwara they built the madurai meenakshi and here you have these fellows you know all caught with periyar right so <laughs> no, they are so hijacked topic. by so this yeah. uh, tamil nadu got hijacked by periyar who was uh, frankly speaking uh, in his name did not suit him at all i don't know how he earned it mm. he is a so called reformer uh, and uh, um, all of his uh, hypocrisy i think now with each passing day many people are uh, you know exposing because uh, he said it's all brahminical and started you know uh, defying uh, 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 defiling the uh, uh, idols of hindu gods you know ganesha also put a chapal hara around uh, ganesha or break down one nataraja break down one rama well, i god knows what he was he was saying it's all brahminical none of these gods are brahmins tell me one hindu god which is brahmin rama is kshatriya krishna is yadava in fact ravana is brahmin <laughs> so here he had it he had it all wrong and he blamed the brahmins for everything so uh, i think uh, perhaps there was a lot of uh, you know anger and frustration in the society itself because so many years of oppression finally the british so he sort of caught them at the right time mm -hmm. and managed yeah. to uh, like you know you poisoned uh, you like you speak of the leftist boys in college colleges he managed to do it but mm -hmm. today i think uh, things are different in two ways i just quickly finish one was i think for communists in kerala the watershed moment was sabarimala right they what happened was what they didn't expect the average hindu woman of kerala stepped out on the street in lakhs right so the communists somewhere buckled and said oh god these fellows you know they have got their strength and uh, perhaps the what they i can't call it watershed but jayalalitha see anna durai was the man who led that whole dmk movement so political yes periyar was the ideologue but anna durai was the man in action you know whether it is dk or dmk or all of that or admk so mgr and karunanidhi had to hold on to that although mgr visited mukambika temple is what they say mgr and karunanidhi had to hold on to all those atheist values and all of that but i think jayalalitha um, sort of uh, loosened up and uh, she celebrated that uh, let me i wrote it down somewhere it's a very famous uh, it's called uh, maha mamangam it's called in kerala in tamil nadu where the, you know it, it's a festival of uh, celebrating the river and water and all of that so she uh, it's like a kumbha mela so she did it and in many ways changed the course of history and for kerala like i said it was sabarimala but in general if you look at it if you look at politics in india right the socialists and the communists and the you know the lohiyavadis and all these guys all and the congress of course See, they all today um, uh, are they are compelled to pro profess what is called soft Hindutva. Minority appeasement no longer works. They have all realized yeah. one. Yeah. Two, taking the Hindu majority for granted also doesn't work. So in any ways, again after twenty fourteen, everyone is realized. Oh God, these guys are important. They are a decisive lot, especially I think after twenty nineteen, because the what they thought is going to uh, crumble. grew further right yeah. uh, multifold so i think and let me tell you dmk is not outside it today stalin's wife mm. shows her puja room to the world on social media 
and uh, if you look at communists suddenly they all are playing to the soft hindutva you know they are playing that tune too so it's uh, strange they celebrate the ramayana month now in kerala you know? so they are all forced to so so i think That's this true. reclamation process yeah. has happened here too so this this whole uh, hardcore atheist uh, anti vedic uh, uh, you know uh, position uh, is all loosened yeah. up you are right especially so after politics the politics will change too moment. yeah i was observing how the communists and the congress party behaved and every single mp mla and party person you know moved very strategically because one bad move it would have ended their political no, career no congress joined the protest yeah. <laughs> they have a choice and today you see rahul gandhi running from temple to temple no yeah. the temple run the famous temple <laughs> run he saying i'm janayu dhari i am hindu so there you yeah. have it so from being not so proud about being a hindu now uh, uh, akhilesh yadav is doing the same thing no and mamta ji was uh, chanting yeah uh, you know so the brahmin sammelans and things like that yeah it's it's very interesting so there you have that. it please remember to subscribe to us and switch on the notifications for this channel for our other social media links more content and to support our work please visit citti.net dhanyawad namaskar